Hello Peace and Sport friends around the world, we welcome you today for the last announcement of the 2020 Peace and Sport Awards, the champion for peace of the year. My name is Marlene Arnois, I'm an Olympic medalist in Taekwondo and champion for peace. We've all been waiting for this moment and now His Serene Highness Prince Albert II of Monaco will announce the winner. It is a great pleasure to announce the champion for peace of the year. At Peace and Sport, we honor those who use their influence to create a lasting impact on society and contribute to a better and more peaceful world. So let's see who the winner is. The champion for peace of the year is Lionel Messi. We believe that the example he sets as a role model for fair play on the field and also his social contribution makes true impact in today's society. Congratulations to Lionel Messi. Thank you very much, Your Highness. Now let's hear Lionel Messi's reaction to the announcement. Gracias, Su Alteza Serenísima y Señor Busu, por este premio Peace en Expo. Bueno, creo que es un reconocimiento eh, bueno, significativo. Siempre intento de, de respetar a todo el mundo dentro de, de una cancha, si bien. Eh, Quiero ganar siempre y competir. Eh, creo que el respeto por, por todo es lo, lo principal, así que, que bueno, ganarlo está bien. Eh, planes, gracias a Dios, pudimos ayudar a, a muchísimas cosas, a muchísima gente de, desde que se creó la, la fundación. Era uno de los objetivos eh, míos y de toda la gente que trabaja al mi alrededor por, por ayudar a los más desfavorecidos. Y, Por suerte lo pudimos hacer y lo seguiremos haciendo mientras que, que se puede y ojalá sea por, por muchísimo tiempo. Lionel Messi, what a great champion for peace. Mr. Buzu, the champion for peace are one of the pillars of peace in sport. Could you tell us more about their actions? Yes, uh, absolutely. The champions for peace uh, play a fundamental advocacy role within uh, peace and sport. They are role models, heroes and a source of inspiration for the young people around the world. Indeed, they play a very powerful role. Thank you very much, Mr. Buzu. I would now like to invite our Vice President, Didier Drogba, and the last two years winners, Champions for Peace, Blaise Matsudi and Sia Colissi, for their reaction on the appointment of Lionel Messi as Champion for Peace of the Year. Hello, everyone. As Champion for Peace myself, and as Vice President of Peace and Sports, it is a great pleasure to welcome Lionel Messi in the Champion for Peace Club. On a football pitch, fair play means playing by the rules, respecting your teammates, the opponents and the match officials, and also acting against discrimination. And I can tell that Lionel Messi always demonstrates to be a great role model for fair play setting the example for the younger generations of players and for millions of children and fans all around the world. Hi Leo, congratulations for your award of Champion of Peace and Sport. As we know, you are a fantastic player, but also a great person inside and outside the field. I believe that us athletes are an example for the society. That's why I'm very honored to welcome you on your, our big family of peace and sport. Congratulations again, Leo. Take care. Hola, Lionel Messi. Uh, Sia Kalisi here from South Africa. Um, I want to say congratulations for being the champion for peace of the year. Um, you've really done an amazing job on and off the field. Uh, you're an amazing role model. A lot of the people around the world look up to you, so we are excited and want to say welcome to the Champions for Peace Club. Uh, we're really excited to have you. We know you add great value. We can't wait to meet you and see you and work with you in the future. Thank you for everything you've done. You're an amazing man. Muchacho, gracias. We thank all of the Champions for Peace for their great works. Yes, it is true. We Champion for Peace have an amazing mission. We have now come to the end of the 2020 Peace and Sport Award celebrations. Thank you, Marlene. Once again, I welcome Lionel Messi 
in the Peace and Sport family. It has been a great journey filled with outstanding Peace Through Sport initiatives. Fantastic personalities from the Peace and Sport movement and beautiful places of Monaco. We would like to thank our official partners, Zepter and my coach, and of course, all of you who followed us through this digital edition. We hope you've enjoyed it as much as we did. Follow Peace and Sport on social media and do not miss the closing message from Peace and Sports Vice President Didier Drogba on December 19th. See you next year for the 2021 edition of the Peace and Sport Awards. Thank you very much and goodbye.